Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video on Gran Turismo 7. I am back with another guide to try and help you get some very, very big credits on Gran Turismo 7. So with the update that arrived yesterday, we have three new time trials to take part in and you can earn up to 8 million credits. Yes, that is right, 8 million credits. That is a lot of credits for you to buy whatever you want pretty much. So I'm gonna show you how to do it, how you can get the laps that you need to get these credits. I have already done the Olympic event from yesterday's video, so if you want to check that out, that is how you can get 4 million credits just by doing one event. But I'm going to show you in this video the Red Bull and the Fuji event. So going into the Sport Mode time trial, click on Sport Mode, and then over to the right-hand side, Online Time Trial, you can see it's got the Olympic Esports banner there. You can see we have already done the Olympic Esports official licensed event, so if you want to check that out, that is on the channel as a guide. But we are going to look at the Fuji and the Red Bull event, the Fuji in Group 3, and the Red Bull in the Alfa Romeo. So starting off, clicking onto this, you can see the times that you are required to get the gold time within 3% for gold, 5% for silver, and 10% for bronze for both events. Now, do remember that these times dynamically adjust depending on the top time that is achieved over the 10 days, I think, for the Olympic event, two weeks for the Fuji event, and six days for the Red Bull event. So yeah, make sure that you keep an eye on the days that are left for each individual event that is you want to take part in. So there's 4 million credits up for grabs from these two, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So if you do enjoy these videos, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let me know how it's helped you out in the comments. So going into turn one at Fuji, I'm in the new Mercedes. Why not try the new car out? It's a brand new car in the game. It's quite a nice car. It's a bit unusual to get used to, but going into turn one, we are gonna break an imaginary signpost in between the 150 and the 100 board. So imagine there's one there and you're gonna get on the brakes pretty much in the middle of both of them. So maybe a little bit closer to the 150 board and you're gonna be aggressively on the brake, keeping the braking in a straight line, use a full width for the track on entry here. You can see using the curb on the left and we're gonna try and rotate it into the curb. So we're gonna use the gears down to first gear, then back up to second gear before we get to the curb and onto the throttle. Keep an eye on that. So always up to second gear before we're getting on the throttle. Just keeps a bit better traction on the exit there and again 70% throttle not 100% until we're confident the car's got the grip and then powering our way out that exit into the next left hand corner which is a very fast corner here at Fuji and you are going to break just after the 100 board and before the 50 board so just after the, I use the 50 board as a reference but I'm breaking just past that 100 board and you're just going to it's not going to be aggressive braking you're going into this corner pretty much in fourth gear little bit of braking input going in then you're going to trail brake off that braking until you get to the apex and your left hand tire you want to aim to get this as close basically to that bollard as possible the closer you can get without hitting it the more speed you can take through this corner. Now you can use a lot of the exit curb, just be sure your left hand side doesn't go over the curb on the right hand side, and also that you get it back on the track before the end of the curb. Very easy way to pick up a penalty if you don't do that. Now we're gonna stick to the right hand side all the way through here, because you wanna keep your right hand tire all the way up to the white line as close as possible. And you can see we're gonna lift off the throttle there just to try and keep that car rotating. And a tiny bit of braking input going in, you can see that's just to get the weight transferred to the front tires to keep the weight there for this high speed corner. And then when the car is starting to grip up, you you can see throttle going back on again right hand side clipping that white line on the apex there and then powering your way into this next braking zone i am going to use that little um, red bar marker on the side there in between the 100 and the 50 board as a reference for braking you can just about spot it and down into second gear again left hand tire right up to this apex you can see the ghost that i'm chasing completely miss the apex there probably loses a little bit of time but i'm then on the throttle as early as possible now just be cautious on this exit if you're too aggressive on that throttle very easy to spin out especially on the curb so now powering our way into the next braking zone we are going to look for that big massive donlop board above our head there that is your reference right in front of us there that's your reference for braking we're going to use that pretty much for every car i always use that at this track so just past that we're onto the brakes and now we're going to be slowing the car down in a straight line so keeping that car slowing down slowing down down through the gears and now we're turning it and you can see into this apex down to first gear for a bit of rotation aiming to get that right hand tire to just clip over that orange curb there on the right hand side and now a little bit of throttle as we try and rotate the car here you can see our aim is to rotate the car with a bit of throttle rather than you know braking aggressively so again no real braking inputs going in in this middle part and then just gradually feeding that throttle and right hand tire again you want to get this right hand tire as close to that bollard on the right hand side you can't see it at the moment because the ghost car but there it is skimming that bollard on the right hand side and now into the next braking zone i use that part there where the green astros turf starts and the green grass 
finishes. So that's the reference point for the braking, braking just before that. And you're going to brake about 50%. You're not going to go 100% braking for this corner because you don't want to slow down too much. You just want a bit of trail braking to rotate the car into the corner. And again, throttle in nice and early in second gear, right hand tire up on the green Astro turf on the right hand side to try and rotate the car. And just use the second gear with gradual throttle to rotate and accelerate the car out of this corner. Now into next braking zone, I use the end of the curb on the left hand side as a reference all the time for this track. Very good reference to use. And you're going to let the car go out wide but then you're going to swing it back in with that trail braking you can see trail braking then lift and then back onto the throttle to start rotating this car into this corner and out the exit maximum throttle use some of the curb on the right side you can get a lot of grip off that curb if you do it right now into this corner it's very tricky this there's no real braking reference i just do it by a visual reference making sure that you're braking perhaps a little bit earlier rather than later because then you can get this car nicely rotated into the curb on the right hand side there and then you can get on the throttle that little bit earlier which gives you the maximum speed all the way up this straight very important corner the better your exit is there the more time you gain all the way up to the finishing line so a pretty solid lap we didn't take too long doing this reasonable lap in there and that will be good enough for the gold there 39.6 i think it's going to be yeah 39.6 over line solid lap hopefully that will help you get the gold for the fuji event and earn two million credits so let's watch that lap again from the chase camera just to try and point out some extra things that you might be able to get that two million credits a little bit easier so again left hand tire onto the curb on the entry see how we use the curb to widen the line in again using some of the curb on the exit there every bit of track is used to gain as much time as possible again over the past the 100 board on the right hand side there's your 100 board just on the brakes just past it left hand tire up on the side of the curb and then just keep an eye here left hand tire just about stays on the curb if you go over that curb you can pick up a penalty and the lap will be invalidated so bear that in mind again right hand tire all the way up to the white line onto the brakes normally better to be a bit early on the brakes there than late if you go late you miss the apex quite a lot and then you get you compromise your exit all the way out of this corner so just bear that in mind on that corner better to be early than late on the brakes now we're looking into the Dunlop board ahead of us and that is our reference braking just past it again again using the curb on the left you can really see on the chase camera how we use that curb on the left hand side to widen the lines in and using every little bit of track that we've got available to us so again Use the curb on the left, rotate the car in, second gear, up onto the curb, onto the throttle. Be careful not to put 100% throttle, throttle in too early on that corner because you can spin the car. And again, this is all about rotating it in and squaring the car off for better exit speed into that final corner. Again, no real reference that I use. You can use possibly the red um, but barrier on the right hand side as kind of a reference but I'm not really focusing over there when I'm going into that braking zone. I'm looking to try and widen the car in so I just do it by a visual reference and just try and get that car slowed down enough to get the car rotated for this final straight. So yeah, hopefully this will help you out for the Fuji one, but this is not finished. We're going into Red Bull Ring, and now we're in the road car, the Alpha road car. And this is a bit tricky to drive, I have to say. Little bit squirrelish. It, it wants to move a lot. It wants to slide around a lot on the rear. So just be careful with this car. So going into turn one, we are going to look for the 150 board above our head there. You can see it. That is our reference for where we're going to slow down. Now, you're going to see just as we come up to it, just before you can see the white line on the floor there, that's where the 150 board is. We're breaking just short of that. And we're going to keep the car all the way over to the left, left hand tire onto the green bit of um, tarmac on the left hand side. That's to widen the line in for this apex. It gives you a better exit speed all the way up the street straight. And you can see almost sliding the car in, right hand tire up over the yellow curb there, and then onto the throttle. You see we're on the throttle, but then lift off the throttle gradually as we go over the curb, then back onto the throttle to regain that traction and power your way up the hill. If you're too aggressive there, you can get a bit of wheel spin and it will slow you down a little bit as you go up. If you get it right, you can really power your way up this hill. Now we're gonna go into sixth gear and then we're going to look for the 150 board again, braking just shy of that 150 board. Now keep your braking in a straight line as we work our way up into the apex. So all the way using the width for the track again, you can see left hand tire onto the curb, down to third gear. We're not going to go below third gear though. You can see there, stay in third gear as we go into this corner. You can see, rotate the car in third gear, let the car hit the apex on the right, then onto the throttle almost as you hit that apex. Onto the throttle, 50% throttle, and then gradually feed that throttle in as you're getting the car straightened up. If you're too aggressive, again, you get a lot of wheel spin and you lose a lot of momentum. So again, into the next braking reference zone. Again, we are going to use the 150 board as a reference and braking very early. You can see braking way before that 150 board. This car doesn't have the best brakes in the world. So down through the gears, keeping it in fourth gears, we brake. 
then into third gear. Now we're gonna go back up to fourth gear before we hit this apex, because you wanna get it rotated. So we're gonna let the car rotate a little bit in third gear. Then once we feel that trail break and finish, up to fourth gear, and then onto the power as we hit the apex. And you can actually gradually feed that power through in fourth gear. Better traction in fourth gear. It's got really good acceleration as well with the way the torque works on this car. You can use fourth gear to your advantage and it will gain you a lot of time. You don't really want to be using gears two in this car. It's all about gears four really and three for some of the slower corners. Again, using the 100 board as our reference for the braking with this car. Normally we'd be using a 50 and we're braking just past that 100 board. You can see just a tiny bit past it. And now just keep the car in a straight line and then use that fourth gear shift to try and rotate this into this apex. So you can see as we come into the apex down to fourth gear, rotate it a little bit. Just try and hold the apex as tight as possible. This car wants to slide. You've just got to try and feed that steering wheel in gently and then gradually feed the throttle in as well on this corner. So you can see putting the throttle down, feeling the grip on the car. Just be careful you don't run too far wide and pick up a penalty on this exit. Left hand tire needs to stay within the white line pretty much. And then for this corner, way before the end of the curb here you can see pretty much the last red part of the curb is where you want to use as a reference for braking then down to fourth gear let it rotate let it rotate and then slowly feed that throttling once you feel the grip is building and you can feel the car turning if you do it too early you're going to understeer off and get a penalty over this curb which you don't want to do so powering our way now all the way up this hill and into the final few corners again we're going to break before the 100 and the 100 board Normally I'd be breaking, breaking past that 100 board, but with this car you're breaking pretty much in between the 150 and the 100 board. So from fifth gear down to fourth gear, let that trail break and go in and then use a bit of throttle to power your way through this corner. If you can get on that throttle, it will help actually straighten up the car with the power. So getting that car straightened up, and now we're gonna break way before the end. I normally use that bit of, of curb, curb as a reference. Sorry, the um, red and white and red part of painted surface as a reference, but we are breaking way before that because we wanna get this car slowed down and rotated into this curb for the exit. So again, breaking on, then onto the throttle pretty much as our right hand tire is right on the apex of the corner and that's because we need to get this car rotated so you can see about 80 90 percent throttle and then 100 percent throttle using the curb on the exit and now all the way to the finishing line for a one minute 38.3 i think this lap is going to be yeah one minute 38.3 reasonably solid lap good enough for the gold so hopefully if you follow this you should be able to get the gold also so again from the chase camera you can see with this car, full width for track, you can see the right hand tire is over the white line, but using the curb as a reference. If your right hand tire goes over the curb, the full curb width, I think that will become a penalty. So just be cautious of that. You can go over the white line. It's almost like the curbs are the limit on that part of the track. So working our way up into the next braking, you can see using the 150. And again, look at the left hand tires using the full width onto the curb and then rotate into third gear. As we clip the apex there, you can see we're then onto the throttle and powering our way up into the next reference up ahead. Now, this again is very, very early on the brakes with this car. Normally, group three cars, you're braking just before the 100 board. With this, we're braking before the 150 board. So yeah, very early on that brake. Downshift to third gear, up into fourth early. You can see before we're onto the apex, we're into fourth gear there. Really helps the traction on the exit there. You'll find a lot easier grip doing that fourth gear rather than trying to accelerate out in third gear. Again, this corner, very tricky. Definitely better to brake early. Let the car rotate and just be cautious. Be patient on the throttle. If you're too aggressive, you will easily spin this car. It's a very sketchy car to drive. So again, this left-hand corner wants to understeer and then oversteer at the same time. So just be cautious of that as you're putting the power down and then into that final sector to finish off that lap. And hopefully, hopefully you're going to get the two million credits from this i think most a lot of people are going to be able to get the four million from this and possibly at least the silver in the olympic event and you probably should be able to get six million credits if you can't get the gold in all of them it's still a very silver for all of them is still going to earn you four million credits which is going to buy you some nice um, cars in the game so very easy credits to do even if you only want to just jump on and get bronze i think you can get over a million credits so definitely worth jumping on getting a lap done on each of these get the bronze and earn yourself one million credits in no time at all so yeah hopefully this has helped you out hopefully it's earned you a bit more credits in the game and hopefully pd do more of these events in the future because i really like them and yeah it's easy ways to gain some credit but yeah hit that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll be back with more of these in the future thanks again for watching everyone